and welcome to my second devlog. In today's video, I'd like to share with you some of the progress I made with my game during the last two weeks. For those who are new, I'm working on my own RPG called Tales of Frahakin. To find out more about the game, you can watch my previous introduction video. I'll put the link in the description. Okay, let's start. First of all, I made some improvements to the character sprites. I finished Anna's standing animation. And Elevander's unicorn sprite. Following some great advice from an Instagram follower, I also started adding animals to the maps. Here you can see two animated fish and a small frog. I love how cute the frog looks. I'd like the forest to look more alive and these little moving animals are such a great addition. You can also see a bird on one of the trees and a squirrel on the ground. When you get close to the squirrel and try to click on it, it runs away like a real squirrel. I've added several NPCs in the main street of Amarat City, the next map. They still have the template sprites, but I plan to draw custom sprites for each person. A cool addition is this small icon popping up above the head of an NPC, signifying that you can talk to them. I started working on all the items available in the game. Here you can see some basic healing items available in the store. I gave them names and descriptions. Some are default, but some I wanted to be unique, like the Lemaris roof, which removes blind from an ally. They still have default pictures but I plan to draw custom pictures of each item, similar to the potion example. The dialogues of the townspeople are still very random, but I want them to eventually give the player some useful information about the game mechanics. I find this a much more effective and fun way to learn how to play than from standard written tutorials. In order to learn how to play and get useful information, you need to interact with the environment and the people. Inside the inn there's finally an innkeeper and you can stay for the night. I haven't really changed the look of the inn itself, other than you can talk to this random person who gives you some quick info about the magic of the land. I added several new maps. This is the path leading to the castle. There are several animals here as well. This dog even barks at the player. Some areas will be restricted at this point of the gameplay, but you'll be able to visit them later on. And here you can enter a magic shop. 
This is my favorite indoor map so far. It's been a lot of fun to design. You can't buy much at this moment, but I plan to add more items soon. I also made some of the environment interactive, like this telescope. Or the bird that sings when you click on it. I might add more in time. I always like snooping around places and looking for hidden clues or treasures. And I like the same for my game. Most of the houses won't be accessible, but some of them will. I'm still working on the indoor maps though. With these parallax maps, I always have to test if the player doesn't end up walking through or on weird things. Like here, for example. I need to put this bush a little to the right. We shouldn't be able to walk through the leaves. Here, I made a quick interaction with this statue. Once you touch it, the sparkle vanishes and you can't interact with it anymore. There are treasure chests hidden all over. I always try to make them partially visible to the player, but some will be hidden behind other objects and it's the player's job to find them. Here are some guards standing beside the staircase that leads to the palace. And here, you can see a bit of the castle. I plan to zoom out the camera and make a small transition here to show the whole castle when you enter. Still need to figure out how to do that though. And the last thing is that once you talk to Enea's father, the king, Alevander changes his form to a human and joins your party. I finished his character art as you can see in the main menu. Soon I'll be posting a full image of him on social media. That's all for today. I hope you liked my second devlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I plan to make these videos every two weeks or so. With my current schedule and the extreme heat wave, it's hard to work for more than a couple of hours a day. I hope this changes soon and I'll have some more exciting content for you. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye!